Guess what, Toronto? We'll have 700,000 new neighbors and 450,000 new jobs by 2051. So where's everyone moving in? If you're Hong Kong, you stack growth upwards. If you're Phoenix, you spread it out. If you're Washington, you do something in between. So what about us, Toronto? What kind of growth is right for our city? We have a mix of low-rise neighborhoods, mid-rise buildings, and towers. We're not a one-size-fits-all city. To figure out how the puzzle fits together, we're reviewing the city's official plan. Right now, tall buildings go downtown and in suburban centers. Mid-rises go on major streets that we want to make more walkable. Everywhere else gets low-rise development that fits in. Simple, right? Not quite. Imagine a new building is proposed near a future LRT stop with a mix of condo and affordable rental housing, office space, and shopping close to transit. With some careful planning, we can make sure this new building fits into the existing streetscape. There's a heritage building on the site, so let's include that in the base of the development. We can set it back from the street and step it down towards the houses. This way, we complement the neighborhood and make sure there's room for everyone. But it's about more than just buildings. We also need things like parks, storm sewers, and recreation centers to ensure we're planning for complete communities. There are other questions too. How do we make these into inclusive spaces for everyone? And how do we strengthen connections with indigenous communities and newcomers? We need to plan for housing affordability and climate change and to grow in a way that's healthy and equitable. Remember all those neighbors moving in? With 700,000 new Torontonians expected by 2051, the pressure to balance growth and local needs is only gonna become more pressing. Help us get this balance right. Get involved in our plan Toronto to help our city grow in the best way it can. Go to toronto.ca slash our plan. Thank you.